There's asbestos in the electrical system has been deemed a fire hazard. Yep, 24 Sussex, the official residence for Canada's Prime Minister since 1951, is a national embarrassment. No one has lived there since Stephen Harper moved out back in 2015. And it gets worse. A new report says renovating it will cost the taxpayer $34.5 million, but it could be torn down and a brand new house could be rebuilt for $38 million. Big money. Save it or scrap it. Are we getting ripped off on this thing? Let's find out. Joining me now, Mike Holmes. He is, of course, the host of HGTV's hit show, Homes on Homes. He once put a bid in to renovate 24 Sussex, so he knows the house well. Mike, great to have you on the program. When you saw the bill, did that strike you as way too high? You know, uh, it's funny because this has been a subject now for many years and to hear that kind of money, almost 35 million, 34.5 to be exact. And that was done by the NCC. So they've had, they put out some tenders to see how much it's gonna cost. That's a huge amount of money. There's things we need to look at. It is the prime minister's home or supposed to be the prime minister's home. There's a lot of things that need to be done. We're gonna to have to work with the secret service going in, going out. There's gonna be secret rooms. There's going to be, well, just the taking out the asbestos alone is going to cost a fortune in money. I think the big question is, do you renovate it or do you take it down and build new? I'm always gonna say, take it down and build new. We can make it look the same. But at $38 million, I can build an awful lot of houses for that value. Yeah, listen, this house is 12,000 square feet, okay? Um, so that's about almost $2,900 a square foot. Now, you do a lot of building. For $2,900, almost $3,000 a square foot, is, I mean, is there any house in Canada that costs that much money to build? I'm going to say there's probably not a house in Canada that would cost 2,900 per square foot to, to build. Uh, what is the average? 400 to 450 for high end. And that is a lot of money when you really look at it. It's a lot of money. I'm sitting in my garage. This garage is about $250,000 to build, but it's got a bar. It's got everything. It holds on my cars. When it comes to this home, another question should be, should it be a museum? Should we turn it back to history for all the prime ministers that were there for the public to walk in and see it? Or should it be for the prime minister and the next prime minister and continue this cycle? That is a big question. I'm not sure what to do about that. Is this a national embarrassment in your view? I mean, this is your brand, your do it right. We are a G7 country. We have no house for our leader. Do you find that a national embarrassment, Mike? I do find it an embarrassment that nothing has happened yet. It is for our leader uh, that we should be paying attention to this. It should have been done years ago. Now, there's a lot of, of problems that come from that. It's who wants to say we foot the bill? The last prime minister, this prime minister, the prime minister afterwards. It shouldn't be about the prime minister. It should be about Canada. We should be doing this for our country, for the history, and for the future prime minister and even the existing prime minister right now. If we thought that way, at least we're moving in the right direction. If we were talking about, you know, Queen's Park or something to do in Ottawa uh, downtown, that's an awful lot of money to fix the heritage there too. So there's no real difference other than it is supposed to be the home of the prime minister. Should we do something about it? The answer is absolutely yes. Should we be honest about it? The answer is yes. And should we, should we do it to the best of our ability without cheaping out? The answer is yes. Yeah, although I gotta say, most people watching are thinking, gosh, every time I get a renovation, it's always double the cost of the estimate. That worries me, but Mike, real quick, how long would it take? I mean, what's the time? And let's say they said, forget it. We'll spend $35 million. There's some taxpayers accept it for some whatever reason. I don't know. How long would it take to rip it, strip it, and rebuild something great? One, it always takes longer to renovate because you're trying to bring back what the history of the house is. To take it down and build new is always faster. But let's be serious. This is a big place, a big job. There's going to be an awful lot of people involved. There's going to be Secret Service involved. There's going to be people coming in to make sure it's right. Hopefully no changes. My guess is two years. Two years. Well, it's been a lot longer than that. Mike Holmes on Homes, I bet he'd like to take that contract. Mike, you always do it right, and I love having you on the program. Thanks so much. 
Thank you. Keep making it right.